or good afternoon from Swanage Library um, Arts Coffee Time Art Talks. My name's Peter. I'm just going to be looking at this painting. Um, change of plan. I was going to do another feature on Mark Chagall, but I thought we'd have a pause because Father's Day is rapidly approaching. And I thought I'd talk about a painting which um, has a father figure in it. This painting is called The Return of the Prodigal Son. It's painted by Rembrandt in the late uh, 17th century. I think we can be quite uncontroversial and say that Rembrandt is one of the greatest painters. Um, what do we see in this image? Well, this is a, a depiction of the story of the pro prodigal son. Um, interestingly, that this is a, a first, first century tale and it's depicted here in the 17th century and in the 21st century um, families have problems, don't they? And uh, we can still kind of identify with it. I mean, what's happening here? Well, the, the backstory to this is that the the father there, you can see this gentleman there, is uh, probably quite a rich landowner. Um, the young son here with the, the bald head, he's requested to have his inheritance early you know, so normally you'd wait for the father to die before you received your inheritance. So it's tantamount to saying to your dad, you know, I wish you were dead, you know. Uh, but the father does give him the inheritance. He goes off and he, he spends all the money and uh, doesn't live well. And eventually there's a famine in the land and he, he can't feed himself. And he's looking at the pigs are eating and he goes, oh, I wish I could eat. If I could eat that, it'd be better than starving. And he thought, how many of my father's servants are living better than I am? I know what I'll do. I'll go back, I'll plan a little speech, and he plans a speech, and he says, I'm not worthy to be your son, make me like a hired servant, you know. So he, you know, gets his courage, and and he goes back to the family. And obviously the, the father happens to be <laughs> waiting for him to return, and is looking, and sees him a long way off, and runs, you know, which is a quite an a unconventional thing for a father figure to do in the first century. But he does. And you know the, the story, you know, kill the fatted calf, put a ring on his finger and all that. And they, they celebrate. And of course, then the older brother, which we take to be this gentleman here towards the right, um, is a little bit disconcerted. He thought, well, you know, I've not gone spending money and, you know, living loosely. And he even adds to the story, you know, he's going off with loose women. And how does he know that? Um and he doesn't even say my brother, he says, this son of yours has done these things. And um, so it's an interesting meditation on this, this, this family. You know, we've got uh, the father there, we've got the, the young prodigal son, and we've got the, the elder brother. Interestingly, um, Rembrandt has this way of having other characters in a picture who are watching the story. So we've got this person towards the centre with a hat on who's watching the events. And that creates a link with the viewer. So we're then invited to sort of look at this and think, well, imagine you were there, you know, what would you, what would you be thinking? Um, I think the, the picture of the father is, is astonishing. I mean, the way Rembrandt has captured something there, the, the, the father's just forgiving this son. He would, he would have every right to be, to be cross, but he, he doesn't, he doesn't sort of, you know, I'll give you the speech and we'll celebrate later. He celebrates immediately. You know, that's, it's astonishing. But it really does kind of shock the the older brother who thinks, well, I, you know, I've not done any of this. You know, why, why can't I even have a kid to share with my family? And of course, then the father says, no, it's right. It's right that we celebrate. And he was lost and now he's found. And he comes back to the family, you know. And, and what an, an example, you know, all around. We're left in the story, left wondering what's going to happen next. And that's kind of up to us. What do you think? you know, the, the older brother will do. What's the story about? Is it about the young son, you know, squandering the money, but then, you know, being allowed back to the family? Is it about the father, what a, a good father should be like? Or is it really about the older brother? You know, do we often make judgments about what we see, you know, and see, see ourselves as maybe a little bit sort of self-righteous or whatever? Um, I think Rembrandt captures that in, in the in the story. The 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 older brother is not there watching this, you know that happens later on. So um, Rembrandt is um, using a little bit of artistic license here. He wants all the characters in in the story, 
Um, and I, I'll, I'll leave it with you to, to think about, but just to, uh, to give it a, a, a kind of a, a theological t- twist, if you like, you know, w- what would hell be like? Would it be like, you know, having parties with, you know, doing what, what you like? Or would it be being shut out from a family where you wanted to belong and and it, what would heaven a heavenly experience be like? Would it be like sat on a cloud, you know, playing a little harp and you know, little angels dancing around you, or would it be the ex- the experience of being welcomed back, you know, with the things that you've done wrong, not not held against you, back to the family, you know, and and this father figure, you know, really captures really captures that. And it, I, I'm a father, and it, this looking at this painting does prompt me to reflect and think. Well, what will I do? Will I say to my daughters, oh, I didn't get a, a Father's Day card this year, you know, or is it uh, to look at this painting to think um, how better a father can I be, you know, so it's like a little thought for the day, isn't it? But I hope you like this painting and I, you know, life is hard, but I do wish you a happy Father's Day. Thanks for listening.